Hello everyone and welcome to Jampoochie Jams, the only series that is dedicated to Jampoochie Heroes, spelled the same, said differently. I'm here with Zenrot. Hello. And we're here, it's been a while since we talked because we have to record on Wednesdays and we, <laughs> some fate intervened to prevent us from being able to record when One Piece came out, but we'll talk about some of those dudes in there because I was actually, you know, I had the craziest banner experience in the world. Uh, but we're just here in time to talk about the 10 10 10. Not 10, it's not three tens, it's only two tens. The 10 10 celebration for Jampudi, which has been long, long, long built up <laughs> for ever since it was revealed. Um, Zen. Zen, are you there with me? I'm, I'm here. 10 10 was not, in fact, Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> No, it sure wasn't. It's the dumbest mm. thing ever, actually. No. Which is wild. Uh, uh, fuck, man. Yes, so Monster it's... Strike's a pretty good game. <laughs> and it fairly has all the missing series from Jumpudi Heroes. <laughs> it's got Jujutsu Kaisen. It has Spy X Family. It has uh, JoJo Part 6, which we're still waiting for, by the way. <laughs> they told yeah, us... they said, oh, yeah, you're going to get JoJo Part 6. But first, we have to give you this girl from Demon Slayer. <laughs> Perfect. Shinobu, Shinobu's back. Um, so yeah, Ten Ten ended up being they broke their Guinness World record of the most. What the hell is even this fucking record? I need to look at it. The uh, Jumpudi Heroes has officially broken its own Guinness World record for the most licensed manga characters in a mo in a mobile game. The new record is Ten Ten characters validated on five to twenty twenty two. So. Um, this lead up to this was very bad. They should have never hooked this up. <laughs> they should they made a mistake. There's yeah. no easy way of saying this. They hyped this. the fuck out of this, and boy, it's not interesting at all. No. And it's all like just fucking characters that we already have other versions of. Oh, it's so unexciting. It yeah, I don't know. I don't know what, who, I understand from their point of view, we should celebrate breaking a Guinness Book of World Records, but when you're the only person breaking the record, does it really count for anything? Well, first of all, it's a record they already had. Yes. Right? Like, yeah. you broke your own record. And second, what other game is there that's allowed to do what you're doing? It's it's a record no that other people have to pay for licenses to challenge. Yes, yeah, so no matter what, in terms of the characters, they will always have access to it because they're Shonen Jump. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. It's so bad. It feels so self-congratulating. And it's so bad, too, because you could see the comments in the specific video. When they released the 1010 video, and they came out with, like, two limiteds, and I'm like, what does, what are they showing? What are they possibly showing if they're already just loading a bunch of characters, it must mean something. And then the second batch came out. And then they released another 1010 10 video, which apparently, uh, OCHD, you can feel free to correct this, but he told, he, from what he said, it was basically the videos were just speculation of what people thought was coming with 1010, 10, which what is 10, bad. 10 was, yeah. Yes. And we cannot deny that absolutely everyone thought 1010 10 meant Jujutsu Kaisen. Because literally Juju, everyone was like, 1010 10 is Juju. Yeah. If, if you go Every back single to, person. Yes. If you go to the comment section for specifically the 1010 10 videos, you will see so many people in Japanese saying Jujutsu Kaisen. It just makes the most sense to release them because it's literally 1010. 10. It's literally a pun on it, and all of Japan is all of Japanese is puns. So maybe it's not necessarily yeah, it's fair. just puns. It's all just puns. Yes, and you know, there's no shaking this. I think it's I'm free to say this now with zero form of repercussions from any other form of anime fans. Jujutsu Kaisen is the biggest thing that's currently in Shonen Jump. It's correct. There's no just denying the pure volume of it, and to. I don't know what the fuck is keeping up with this series not joining the game. Like, what is going on? It's It's been in Monster Strike twice. Once for season one and once for the movie. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. This is supposed to be Shonen Jump's fucking game, right? 
this is for them. This is based off of their manga. Why are none of the big current ones in here? Why is Chainsaw well, Man not in here? It's too hard to put in. Yeah, you know, they have to keep putting in One Piece and Demon Slayer characters. That's also, oh man. And to be fair, One Piece is also big in its own thing. But in terms of the brand new ones, it's Jujutsu Kaisen and everything there. And it's just so strange for them not to, to not only not bring them in here, but to not make any mention of it whatsoever. That's also the inferiority part here. If they were to just say they're coming at some point, I would understand it. Like they have done with part six saying, hey, you're getting it sometime in this window. But they literally don't want to reveal anything about it. They very clearly know that this is an extremely like hyped up series, and the longer they go without releasing it, the worse it's gonna be because every celebration is gonna feel so flat. Yep, it's so fucking like, dude. Do we really need Shinobu? We already have like three versions of her, and she's a background character in Demon Slayer. I like Shinobu, and I even I was unsure of why she was given a, a limited. It's that That's level smart. of, like, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, even as some... Also, I'm also not 100% hype with the idea of, hey, we're releasing four limiteds, good fucking luck, you don't have any rupees. Yeah, you don't have any rupees because we just released a ridiculous other string of limiteds. Yes. The only also, limited I'm kind of interested in... I, I like the Assassination Classroom one, but not enough to pull for it. Um, yeah. And that I one like Sephiria, because I like Black Cat. Because yeah. Black Cat is, like, a weird enough series where I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's a weird enough thing to really like. I'm pro releasing weird limiteds, but it's also you should maybe pay more attention about what you're releasing for the celebration. Like, if we actually take it at face value, the four limiteds that were released for this celebration, and to be fair, I think uh, Sifria is being released for a tower update, so she's not included with these. We have the two dudes from Assassination Classroom, we have Shinobu from Demon Slayer. And then we have the two main characters for Food Wars. And then we have characters yep. from Dr. Stone. And we have a little bit more from um, Assassination Classroom. We have some dude from Haikyuu. We have some Strawberry 100%. Um, and that's your celebration. And it's and then oh, also um, Sensei's uh, sister, Mahiro Kurisu, who is also from um, We Never Learn, who is a free unit. But either way... If that's your big celebration, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's impressively bad. It uh, like it, genuinely. It, it is genuinely mind boggling for them to go No, we think this level of limited is good, and then also from these series. Like even the series that they picked from, I like Doctor Stone, but did we need a third Senku? I think this yeah, is the third I one, like right? Senku in his human clothes whoa yeah crazy taiju for some reason has not been in the game yet right at all he hasn't been no added. i don't think so think so that's the first one that's cool but he also he's a banner unit yep. i don't know any, i don't know anything about strawberry 100 percent, so i can't speak to those you know a little bit of haikyuu do you know this guy daichi Sawahara? yeah Is he's he? the team captain of the uh main guy's team hmm do you feel anything looking at this guy? I don't. Boy, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a bizarre group. And even if you look at it at face value and say, hey, these are from series that are liked, that's correct. But you've already released the characters that you super care about. <laughs> and even as someone who really likes Shinobu... Oh, actually, to be fair to Soma, um, this is their first limited... And same thing goes for Assassination Classroom. But even if I looked at Assassination Classroom, I want Koro-sensei. That's kind of my main guy when I think of Assassination Classroom. Is the I, I think this is an okay limited choice for Assassination Classroom. Okay, but it's okay. like, Assassination Classroom is not on the level of, like, fucking Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> no, it's not. And even if you, don't, if you remove Jujutsu Kaisen and you look at some of the other ones... And I know some people don't want them. For whatever reason, there are people who do not want Chainsaw Man and Spy X Family, even though they are Shonen Jump properties. But either one of them would have equally have been... Well, see, that, I, I, I've seen people argue and whine, like, Jump Plus. But, like, the original Chainsaw Man was not Jump Plus. No, it wasn't. It was moved to Jump Plus because it's it was, better... It, was, it moved to Jump Plus in Part 2. 
Yeah. And then if we're going to start throwing that shit around, technically part six isn't Shonen Jump, isn't it? Or is no, it part, it's, uh, starting from part or seven? Or no. Part six is the last one that was Shonen Jump. Part seven is uh, Ultra Jump. Yeah, so you're telling me that we're not going to have anything from part seven and part eight? Because they're not in a weekly Shonen Jump? That's stupid. <laughs> I I don't see I don't see any merit to that argument whatsoever because it limits you to yeah much. I don't really understand why you would like fight for that it's kind of stupid but whatever yeah there should have been at least at the very least there should have been a new series because it just feels so weird like even if some of these like assassination classroom and soma are getting limits for the first time do you piggyback off of One Piece and then also release a Demon Slayer? Like, the only thing that's missing here is Black Clover. The only thing that actually would have made this worse if they had released Shinobu with a Black Clover character. <laughs> but they can't because Black Clover <laughs> is next. Oh, my God. Bro. Yeah, Black Clover, Who's by the way. Who's managing this? I, the guy who really likes Black Clover. Because I had to look over the, the, the coming f- until the 4.5 year anniversary. But after 10.10 is Black Clover. And then Gintama. And then it's we start the 4.5 anniversary campaign. Um, Ooh, Gintama. I'm okay with that, though. Yeah, it's, again, as fans of Gintama, we're going to be okay with Gintama. But that's if here that now. is a duo, Gintoki and Katsura, I will forgive them, sort of. God damn it, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, I will yeah, 50% forgive them. Okay, so would I. Because right now I don't even log in. But I will I will log in if they do that. Yeah, I log in because the, this event actually does give you a uh, I think a guaranteed ticket, and there's also daily multis where at the end I think you get certain stuff. Yeah, there's multis that have um, limited on it, so I'm gonna go for that. And then there's a special login bonus and stuff like that. Like in terms of the actual event, I will play and do that stuff because I need to build up my fucking supplies after One Piece completely drained them. But I don't know. It just doesn't feel like this. The, the having ten ten characters is a weird thing to celebrate, and then to have go this hard into a celebration right before a four point five year anniversary just feels weird. And then we're going into something of Black Clover, and then we're going into Gintama, and then we'll finally be starting um, by the end. By the end of September, we'll be starting the four point five year anniversary. But then after September, they say that's when World Trigger, a mysterious event, mysterious crossover, and other stuff is coming. But I don't know, this. It, it's not even the fact that it's not Jujutsu Kaisen. It's a lot of it is that it's not that. But a lot of it is That's just like, not I don't... helping, yeah. Yeah, it's not helping. If this was still a good celebration with, like, at least something different, I would feel a little bit better. Or if they were just giving us a shitload of rupees, but I'm burnt out. There's too many limiteds. I just literally went back-to-back back two One Piece limiteds into fucking three, four? That's crazy. And that's not even factoring in before that. We had... A more limited than a moose one. It's yep. too much. It the rate of trying to keep up with this game is getting out of control. And yeah, I don't really know what like. That's almost kind of alarming to me because when when if they start like blowing their load like that, that's when I get the "Are you shutting down soon?" vibes. You know. Th- yeah, that's when I get f- f- fucking flashbacks. I get real cagey. Too. Or collection, and then also Dragalia, where where they were like, oh yeah, here's a bunch of characters that should be in Dragalia's case, Gala worthy, but we're just kind of releasing them, and it's like, whoa, that's crazy! They're releasing Gala worthy characters that are not Gala. Who? Why would they do this? And then it turned out it's because they're fucking shutting down. Because <laughs> they're closing the game, yeah. And I don't know if maybe line the line corporation makes enough money to keep it going forever, which is the one thing Or Collection didn't have is that it didn't have a corporation behind them. Fucking money, yeah. Yeah, no, it had no money. It had like a dude who wore a JoJo hat who said, "I am the producer of this game." <laughs> Let's which go. is a shame because that game fucking slammed. It did. It did. It really missed that game. I miss that game too. Every single day, I would gladly have it back. That game would have Jujutsu Kaisen in it already. It would have had Jujutsu. It had, yeah, it had Demon Slayer right when it was still new. Right, right when it Tanjiro. first came out, yeah, no one even knew who Tanjiro was. Yeah, because he was in the game, the and everyone kept being like, "Who the fuck is that?" Yes, exactly. Except for the couple dudes who were like, "Oh, Demon Slayer, you should check it out." And I was like, mm, "Maybe it does look pretty in these animations, so maybe I'll give it a shot eventually." Um, but yeah, that's the right way of doing it. I think you need to release something from a new series right away. And maybe it's weird to think like, Hey, we have an entire year planned out. We can't just do that. That's not my problem. If you're not keeping up with jump, then I think you've got severe 
problems that need to be hammered out, basically. If you're telling me that you cannot slip in any of the new series because you need to do another Black Clover event, you should fire whoever said that. And I don't care if it's the actual yeah, director it's like, of the game. People make jokes about how it's always One Piece, Demon Slayer, and Black Clover. And it's like, we just got off a giant One Piece celebration just to roll into Shinobu, just to roll into Black Clover again. Yeah. It's, it's, the, the joke is made because it's accurate. It's too accurate, and it hurts to, to see how accurate it is. Like, uh, I don't know, man. It, it, it's, it's, I, it's really depressing to talk about. Because, again, I still like Shampooty, and I, the, it's bumming me out that it's acting this way. That it's just, like, not doing, I don't know, whatever direction it's going in, I feel uncertain for 4.5, like you said. Even with them giving new additions and stuff, it's like, I don't know. It doesn't feel right when a game goes this kind of crazy and just starts releasing limiteds like they're nothing and to be fair i think a lot of them usually end up being good for pvp and pve and stuff like that like, yeah that's the last like entire batch of limiteds were all like the best ones in the game yeah. all the tier lists had them at like number one or number two which is fucking ridiculous it is and that you drop just like the most op shit in the world as much as you possibly can it's so stupid Mm -hmm. And that's not my uh, problem with them at all. My problem is, is there's too many and they're not giving enough stuff to actually summon with. And it's like, now I have to start saving up again. Like, I would really like Shinobi, but she's in a place that's like, I don't think I can actually save in any case for you. Because it's like, then they also had the very insulting thing where it's like, you can get 10, 10 rupees by playing this event. Like, bitch, you need so much more. <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah, that's not even close to enough. No, what are you doing? Maybe if it was 10,000 in one, that'd be a little bit, a bit of a different thing. But to say, like, hey, do enough missions and you can get 1,010 when it costs, let me see, 15 fucking multis if you want to guarantee get Shinobu and Soma. Because, by the way, they share the same banner. Same. So there's a That's good chance. That's so ridiculous. Yes, it, it mm, so infuriatingly bad the way it's being designed. The worst thing is also is that the assassination classroom dudes they have their own solo banner and they're uh, ten multis, and then you get them and then you're good. But I don't know it, and they have also a new hero choice and they have the new heroes on it, which is nice too, I guess. You don't have to pull for another banner, but it just doesn't feel I right. I guess. Yeah, fuck It's it. one of those things that's just like, I guess. It, it, I guess you didn't make it worse. <laughs> that's like the best you can say about it. <sighs> but yeah, very frustrating. And I don't know. It just doesn't make it feel... It feels wrong. I would be very interested to see what other people have to say about it. But that's my general feeling on it right now. Is that it feels like there's a current state of the game and it doesn't feel right. Something needs to change. Or they need to get better of not hyping up stupid shit. Yeah, this was way too hyped up for, like, just a complete flat nothing. Yeah, for a fart. That's basically what was basically... Um, yeah, it's, it's got me so twisted. I'm saying basically every other fucking sentence. It was too hyped up for what it ended <laughs> up being. Because you're fucking tilted like everybody else is. Yeah. <laughs> it's too built up. It's worse than the Tanjiro and Giyu thing. That was that was the last time where I said they need to not do this again, because they built up like, oh my god, it's this character you've never seen before. It's duo that you've never seen. That oh yeah, anticipated. the the like the most important like the duo everyone's been waiting for, and it was yeah. fucking Tanjiro and Gyu, and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, and I was like, name oh. one person, one person that gave a fuck about that. No, and the sad thing is is that I should give a fuck. I like them, but the way that you've released them is so stupid. <laughs> you need to get better at planning it, is basically what I'm saying here, man. Something needs to improve. They're not going to hear it from here, but that's what I'm saying. Is that hopefully enough Japanese people feel the same way, where they at least can say, like, hey, maybe be a little bit better about delivering, because nobody cares that you have 10, 10 characters in here, except for you. Because you can say it's a Guinness Book World Record. It's like when WWE touts that they're the greatest thing and that everyone's tweeting about them, but then everything tweet is like, this shit sucks. It's <laughs> like, We're trending again, and all the trending yeah. tweets are like, fucking garbage. Fucking garbage. What are you fucking doing? Stupid fucking thing. 
and it's like so self-congratulatory and it's like yay us here you go what you guys get we get a guinness book world record you get a shit ton of characters to summon for with not a lot of currency to go around that's what it feels like yeah it's so dumb like i dude i can't oh my god it's so dumb of all the things to be like what is this mystery 10 10 uh, it's that we broke the record that no one else is legally allowed to compete with us for. <laughs> no one could even come to... There's, like, no... Like, even Marvel and DC doesn't have enough c- fucking characters to come up with this. And it's they also so license them. stupid. Yeah. So unbelievably dumb. So, that's basically how we feel about the whole 10-10 situation. It's, it's been a roller coaster of... It I, sure is ass. It sure is, man. I even tried to give him the benefit of the doubt to wait to see if there was, like, one more thing to release. <laughs> I really didn't want to come in here and just completely destroy this game because I, I like it. But when you're doing... When you get bad shit, you deserve to get shit on, <laughs> basically, is the way I see it. Yeah, I just... I can't imagine, like... God. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Do you have anything else to say about that specifically before we at least go on to talking about the characters that they released? Not going over what they do because there's too many. Yeah, I guess. Okay. All right. Let's go. So first things first. Um, One Piece characters. They released a whole buttload of them. Just to go off them, they basically filled out all the Wano dudes so everyone has their Wano version except for maybe... I think the only one that doesn't have their Wano version is Sanji, which is funny because he's wearing, yeah, he's wearing a, a a costume he wears in Wano, but it's like for a gag to make himself invisible and then go ch- check out the women's bath for a bit. Like, that's basically right. all the, the suit is really there for. It's also there for some character stuff later on to say he doesn't need his family's technology, but really when you first see it, that's all, <laughs> that's all it's there for. But everyone else has theirs, so we have uh, Osaba Mask, we have uh, Choppa Man, is, I think that's how you pronounce his version of it. It's like Choppa Iman, there you go, it's Choppa Iman. Uh, we have Olin, which is the, I think very briefly Big Mom loses her memory at the beginning of Wano and she goes by Olin for a bit at the beginning until she gets it back. Um... A brand new Luffy. I don't remember if they call this one Luffy Taro, if it's just uh, Luffy. Let me Let's see. Let's find I... out. Uh, he's somewhere on here on OCHD. Let me see. There's so many One Piece characters to go through. <laughs> they just call it him Monkey, Monkey D. Luffy. D. Luffy. Yep, just straight up Monkey D. Luffy. They have Yamato, the son of uh, Kaido. Um... I feel like I'm missing something. They added the the Usopp version and also the um, Brooks version of Wano. I don't remember their names because I can't find them on here because there's so many characters. Oh, and Jinbei, which I was actually very happy to see Jinbei get in there. I love Jinbei. The giant fish man karate. He's the man. He's the giant fish man who I said wore the, the, the leather gear and it looked really funny <laughs> when he did. You remember that from so many episodes ago? Uh, Usahashi? I sure don't. <laughs> man, so long. It's really funny that, that everything with Jinbei is really funny because he's a giant fish man. So there's like a part where he's like steering the wheel, but his he, his body is so big and the wheel is so small. <laughs> it looks so small in his hands and then later on they put on a disguise and it makes it look like he when, he, when you put him next to Robin... It looked like his and hers first dominatrix set. <laughs> it looked like a very lovely couple trying out something new. <laughs> for them. That's pretty funny. Yeah, so I, I like Jinbei, so I like seeing him there. And this is one of the very few um, banners that I was actually able to get every single character. So I have the new Luffy, I have Yamato, I have Jinbei. I was able to get the new um, Sanji and the new Frankie, who I think is called Frankie. It's like a robot Frankie. It's called Frononosuke. There you go. So I was able to get absolutely every single character, which I was fucking shocked by because I've never had that level of luck in this game. (laughs) Uh, Because usually when they feature characters that are like um, side units on a banner, I never pull them. I always get old ones. That's usually my experience of uh, trying 
But I was actually able to get everyone, so I was very happy about that. So, as a big One Piece fan, it was good eatings for me. And I also think both the Luffy and Yamato are very good as well. For various different reasons. But yeah, that's the One Piece stuff. Now let's go into the new units, which are a vast... As we mentioned before, the new limiteds are Nagisa and Karma? Is his name Karma or Karna? Karma. Karma. Mm-hmm. From Assassination Classroom. And then they have Gokuahui Asano, who is also from Assassination Classroom. Do you feel anything about these boys? Because you've actually read Assassination Classroom? Uh, the Limited is cool. That's mm-hmm. like the boys, the main, the main boys. That's the Deku and Bakugo of Assassination Classroom. Mm-hmm. Um, Gakuho Asano is the evil school principal. He looks evil. Yeah, he is evil. But he has like a he has like a moment where he comes around at the end. All right, all right. Can't wait to eventually see that on Shonen Archive whenever we get to it in the next seven years. We totally should watch Assassination Classroom for <laughs> Shonen Archive. Is it so actually on the? Is it on the list? <laughs> I don't remember if it's on the list. I don't remember if it's on the list or not, but it's Assassination Classroom is incredible, so okay. we should absolutely watch it. I'll add it to the list then. The, the ever-growing list of stuff to eventually watch. So yeah, the cool. endlessly growing list. Mm-hmm. They released also like a day early before the celebration, which I thought was really weird. I think that it very rarely happens where a banner unit... They have so out. much shit, they're like, well... Yeah. Better just start releasing them. Yeah, why not? Just get ready for it later on. I think it was supposed to coincide with the update, but then the update got stalled. <laughs> Which is maybe a, a, a foreboding sign for how things were going to go if that was how they were planning to start things. And it was already going off to a rough start. Not the greatest. But yeah, there you go. If you're a fan of Assassination Classroom, you have your limited. It's always good. Uh, next we have, I'm going to put these two together because they're related to the tower. Um, to celebrate the 3.5 year anniversary of the tower, they're releasing a limited from Black Cat called Sephira Arc. And then the next character who is going to be be able to be bought from the PvP shop is Kaname Hagiri, aka that guy from the ch- uh, Chapter Black arc of Yu Yu Hakusho. <laughs> Do you remember this? Oh dude? yeah, the yeah sniper. Yeah, yeah, sniper man. He threw dice, right? He can basically make anything into a like a projectile. So he, like, flicks pencil erasers and dice and stuff. Yeah, that's what I remembered. So you'll be able to get him for free. The limited is not free. Get ready to spend more for (laughs) that potential limited. Good luck with that one. Um, I kind of like that that they added this guy from Yu Yu Hakusho. I wish there was more Yu Yu Hakusho stuff. I feel like they did all the Yu Yu Hakusho stuff really early, so now they don't have really anything to go back to, which kind of sucks. Because the only they they basically skipped the Suzako stuff, so that's the only stuff that really isn't in the game. Because <laughs> they skipped straight to the good stuff, so we're missing. Actually, you know, they could still add stuff. But either way, I would like some more Yu Yu Hakusho stuff. So he's free. Feel free to get him. And you we actually more Yu Yu Limited. Yeah, we do. Besides just Yusuke as well. Well, to be fair, I actually think yeah, that we have only... Karama as well. But they're both, I think they're all terrible. Oh, except for Hiei. Hiei's good. Yeah, Hiei is really good. Where's our Kuwabara? Uh, Yusuke and. Uh, yeah, we don't have a Kuwabara. It's like the one similarity they have with War Collection is that, remember, there was a limited Yusuke, Kurama, and Hiei, but yeah. they never released a Kuwabara. <laughs> <laughs> never a Kuwabara. The only Kuwabara was the generic one from the beginning, just like War Collection. Yeah, it just like them, the only Kuwabara they have is the generic four-star Kuwabara from the beginning of the game. Ah, oh, such a shame. Kuwabara Rip deserves Kuwabara. better. He deserves so much better. He's so cool. Kuwabara's awesome. Give him a limited. Hear me now. If you had enough werewolf to fucking release Shinobu, you should have released the Kuwabara limited. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Next. Fucking Shinobu. <laughs> We're I'll do, let's just get into it now. Shinobu, they release Shinobu. If you remember her from Demon Slayer, she's the poison butterfly girl. 
Uh, she's the one that doesn't have her boobs out, so therefore she's for an acquired taste. <laughs> she doesn't have the immediate cult following that the love pillar has. No, yeah. Or Nezuko, because Nezuko has uh, obviously cute points for being for never talking and always being small and portable and, and needing to sleep. So she ends up being the third choice for everyone. And for a third choice, I like her. And for some reason, they decided to release a a limited for it. And I was immediately went, I immediately went, fuck, why are you doing this to me? I'm the only person in the fucking world who would care about this. And you release it at a time where I can't summon for her. And then you put her on a garbage banner where I might have a chance of getting Soma and the other girl. I was so sad about this. Everything related to Shinobu's release. It pisses off the people who want Shinobu, which is me. It pisses off the people who don't give a shit about Shinobu, which is Zen, because why is she in the game? So yeah, why a, the fuck, for real? Like, what is what is this? What the fuck? It, it's a double case of they've made it... So they've angered the people who don't want another Demon Slayer Limited, and then they've angered the people who did want this specific character as Limited, because now it's really fucking hard to get her. This is like a loose, loose, loose situation. They would have been better off actually just not including her. Yeah, just, they really shouldn't have. Like, No, no way. They should have just say, waited for later. What are they fucking going to do? Just save it for later. It's Demon Slayer. You can release it whenever, and you can still sell fine. But maybe that's why they released her here, is like, it's a Demon Slayer character. So therefore, Demon Slayer fans will summon for it. And I'll guarantee you, there is going to be some Demon Slayer fans that will run the risk on a bad banner for her. So, uh, just so sad. The, the the handling of it has been so bad that it makes everyone <laughs> angry from both sides. Yeah, it everyone's really, pissed off. Nobody liked that. It's like when you shoot the nuke at fall in Fallout 3. Nobody liked that decision. <laughs> uh, moving on. That's all I'm going to say on it. Otherwise, we can spend another 20 minutes on it. We'll put these two together because we'll count them as girls that uh, Wokey cares about. Um, Meharu Kirisu, who is the sister of the sensei from uh, We Never Learn, who has the, the limited, the... The very good broken limited girl, uh, Zed, with pink hair. You'll know her for that. Um, oh, the uh, skater, skater mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. She's the sister. That's why they look so similar. Funny enough, when I first saw it, um, I thought it was actually her younger version because there's time travel and we never learned. So you actually get to see. Uh, of course, there is. Yeah, there you get to see Sensei as uh, as she was in high school. Um, and there's a whole plot line around that. So I actually thought it was that version of her, and I thought they were about to make her a summonable character because it's Karisu, and every single version has either been summonable or a limited. <laughs> so I was like, oh god, please don't. But no, it's it's her sister, so she's free to play. I like her, but she's also kind of one of those characters where it's like, yeah, you're not even a side oh. character. You're like a side yeah, character a, of a side a character. Dealer. Kind of, yeah. You're like the side character of another character's plot line. <laughs> but, uh, Damn. You know, she's nice. She's very, very cute, though. I will gladly get her because she's free to play and I'll give her the 30 because I think I'm, I've am i made the plan of giving every single We Never Learn girl 30-30. <laughs> so, wish me luck on that one. And now we'll go to a series that um, I'm surprised I haven't seen, which is a, a Strawberry 100% or Ichigo 100%. They added Junpei and Aya Tojo, which I believe Aya Tojo was already in the game. Uh, but now this is a new version of her. I'm surprised I've never read Strawberry 100%. Do you know the premise of so Strawberry? Oh my, that seems like it's pretty much your thing. Yeah, I, lo I love this shit. Do you know the premise of Strawberry 100%? I don't. Uh, the premise is is that the main character saw a pair of panties that were strawberry and he fell in love. And now he's trying to find the girl who had those panties. Because that's the girl he believes that he's fallen in love with. And I that is like that's a Gintama episode. That does feel like a Gintama, but it was a <laughs> first serious. <laughs> it's a first serious uh, series. And I think I've only read a couple that were in the a uh, big ass shonen jump back in the day but i never actually followed up on it um 
So yeah, they're in there. We don't have much to say other than to give me very, very quickly telling Zen the plot line of this <laughs> probably horror manga, which they're always yeah, it really sure sounds fun. like one. Yeah, it sure sounds like one. I can't imagine a dude who's like, oh man, I saw panties for the first time and it was fucking red. Actually, I can't imagine a high schooler who sees them for the first time and going, that was red, uh, but not going as far <laughs> as to say, uh, I want to marry that girl and <laughs> start a lineage with her. I don't know if it goes that far. Um, but you know, man, it's maybe the most relatable a horror manga character has ever been. <laughs> Because they're very much like, oh, that shit was good. I need to find her real quick. As opposed to every other horror manga uh, protagonist who's like, I just want to avoid all the hot women that are near me <laughs> and ignore their advances. <laughs> Please, no, I'm trying to study. Keep your boobs and your butts away from me at all times. I'm trying to better my life. Yeah. This guy's like, I'm bettering my life by finding the woman who scratch held those pins. Which I can respect. Next. <laughs> As we mentioned before, from Haikyuu, Daichi Sawahara, Sawa, Sawamura. Another Haikyuu character. From what Zen's yeah, he's described just a guy. He's, just, he's a, just a guy. He's just a little guy. He looks... He's doing his best. Okay. I, I was about to lay into him because I was about to say this man looks like a generic NPC. <laughs> he sure is, basically. Yeah, he doesn't he look... He becomes into... a cop, I'm pretty sure. They, they have like a that time skip in Haikyuu where they all have jobs and I'm pretty sure he becomes a cop. Oh man. That's unfortunate. A cop, a volleyball cop, volleyball cop. I would read that. Volleyball book. cop. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, there you go. Volleyball cop is now in there for everyone to enjoy from Soma. We have the first limited from them, which is Soma and arena. I don't I, 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 in another series that I'm surprised that I actually have not read fully because of the art of Soma. <laughs> Because like we said, yeah, this I haven't the, really read anything from that either. No. All I've heard is the tales of my uh, friend who very, 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 very hard tried to stop everyone from reading the end of of Soma. <laughs> she tried her damnedest to be like, no, please, no. If you're here, just stop. You're good. Don't, don't finish it. <laughs> don't do this to yourself. Yes, she's like, you don't want any of this shit. Trust me, please, for the love of the Lord, do not finish so much. Go to season three, end it, we're good. And I was like, damn, is it really that bad? And she goes, oh, you have no idea. <laughs> You're just, your life is better without it in it. So that's really all I know about Soma. Uh, other than, of course, the crazy art that it has. But nice of them to get their... Um, they're limited. They're also apparently a DPS class, which is really funny when you consider that all they do is cook. So, good on them for that. And then finally, I think we've saved these two for last somehow. Um, no, we... Yeah, Dr. Stone. So Senku and Taiju are also in the game now. Which I say is also in the game when I when Senku is already in the game. He already has a limited and he also had his starting one. But this is him in the before times before the giant uh, destruction purification beam got shot from everything. Keeping it as vague as possible for the people who have not actually finished Dr. Stone. Um, but yeah, there you go. Him and Taiju, they're in there. I like Taiju, Zen. I know it's going to be very I shocking. I hate Taiju. Use. I think he's fine. Yeah. I do, I was always kind of sad that as smarter characters entered the scene, he was eventually replaced because he was too dumb. Yeah, he just thought, well, apparently he was really unpopular when he first like got revealed. Really? That sucks. Mm -hmm. Apparently both him and Yuzuriha were like not, nobody was into it. Really? Maybe, the, mm -hmm. I don't know, that's a shame. I actually kind of like their... Early time. It's very rare for there to be a girl who's a main girl who the main character does not give any shit about, and also the main girl does not give any shit about the main character. I thought it was refreshing for that matter. And there was no like, oh, is there a romance between all of them? It's like, no, Taiju the very will they, much, won't they, kind of? Yeah, none of that. Yeah. Taiju very much loves this girl, and Senku's like, go for it, my bro. I thought that was very refreshing, <laughs> so I'm kind of sad to see that's the reason they kind of went away. <laughs> I never knew the reason. I always thought it was just kind of weird. But if they yeah, were no, they were apparently were not were not polling well with the public. 
Damn. So they got <laughs> blasted. To be fair, though, the the two dudes that did eventually replace them are kind of amazing. So, Kohaku and Chrome. Yeah, kind of hard to yeah. compete at that point. Even it's going... funny how Chrome literally just looks like Taiju too. He's just basically sm- It's like <laughs> Taiju is himbo version of him. <laughs> That's basically yeah, what pretty he much. Is. That's a pretty good way to put it. That's always what I liked about it. He's just a very earnest, dumb himbo man who's like, whatever, what do you need? He's like, I need you to walk in place a thousand times. He's like, you got it, fucking bro. Let's do this shit. And he would just do it. <laughs> Tight. That's why I fucking love him so much. Because he would, anything Senku needed, it's like, Senku's like, I need someone to uh, fucking smash their dick on a tree a thousand times. And Taiji would show up and go like, I've already got my pants off. And he would be smashing the tree for the next three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> love him. It's true. It's I love that. Day. It's such a shit, but I understand. Maybe it fits a little bit more if you have someone like Chrome who's actually gives a shit about learning about science, and then Kahaku actually like is a girl who was cool and did all the strong. She basically did all the strong stuff without being too stupid. <laughs> yeah, she got to be like kind of smart and also hot, and so they were like, "Yeah, this is better." Yeah. And available. Everyone's into this. Yeah, everyone was into that. There's no denying that they are better than... <laughs> like, I can't be too angry because, like, you're right. He did replace them with better. He listened to the feedback and he replaced them with better characters. But I still like my boy. Still like him. And then eventually those two would also probably would have been... And no, in terms of the top three characters, the most popular was Senku, Gen, and then it's the... I keep calling him Kaiba because he keeps reminding me of Kaiba. But what's his actual name? The super rich guy Which who character? the the super rich Kaiba R- character. Ryusui? Yeah, Ryusui, yeah. The one who constantly <laughs> shouts about money is always like, Oh yeah, I want that shit. Don't, don't didn't he end up being like him, uh Senku and Gen end up being the most popular characters? Uh yeah. Yeah. It's funny that you think he's like Kaiba <laughs> He is like Kaiba, right? If Kaiba if Kaiba was in the Doctor no, Stone. Not at all. Okay, if you remove he's the so murderous like attempt. Nice, just good guy. Oh, come on. You don't tell me when he brought out that money, he didn't have some Kaiba-esque tendencies? Yeah, well, he's like a rich douche, but like he's not a, I'll throw you in my murder amusement park. <laughs> oh, that would have been so good. That, that should have been the direction Dr. Stone went. <laughs> <is reusing. laughs> Goes full Kaiba and puts him in a fucking prison of some kind. <laughs> Jesus. All right, you're right. Fine, except for the very base level of their rich, he's not really that level like Kaiba. And I guess his Mokuba would be his butler in that case. But um... no, he has a brother. Oh yeah, he does have a brother. You're right. I forgot because yeah. he shows up so much later. Uh, but yeah, those two Doctor Stone characters. Very weird characters to add. But I, even as someone who likes Doctor Stone, I kind of would just would have want actually for, instead of Shinobi, they should have just added another Doctor Stone limited. Should have been... Um, yeah, they really should have. Yeah, I feel like that would have made a lot more sense. Save for Shinobu for another day where you just need, like, you have nothing else planned and you're like, whatever, we need to kill some time before the next event. Here you go, here's Demon Slayer, here's Shinobu, we're going to re-release some other Demon Slayer guys, and you're good. But I think that they need another limited that's not just Senku. Like, there's so many cool characters in there that they could do that, and if they didn't want to do that, they could do um, duo characters, that works too. I don't know. I think it would have been a little bit better. But maybe that's someone as me saying as someone who just wants more Dr. Stone Limiteds. Possible. Cool. But, yeah. Anything that's not Demon Slayer and One Piece is very welcome. Yeah. Even as someone who really likes them, it would be nice if they would stop releasing them. <laughs> as often. Even though I'm currently very much enjoying my Yamato. Thank you for the good luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Burning it up with Monkey <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy. Thank you very much. Of course, very thank you, Gomen Sai. Thank you for all the, all the things, but also stop releasing the- <laughs> But please, a break. Yeah, please, a break of some kind, man. Especially as we're going... Thank God for Black Clover, right? That's going to be such a huge break into Gintama. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, Black Clover, so apparently... Apparently it goes well, because they keep doing it, and people keep not questioning it. Yeah, maybe the Twitter's wrong and Black Clover is actually very popular. 
Turns out just because it's a bunch just of the director said, guy, he just like keeps buying them all. Like he spends his whole salary on the Black Clover characters to justify continuing to put them in the game. Yes, he puts on a fake mustache when he buys them, even though no one else can see him <laughs> when he buys them. He has multiple burn accounts with ways to spend to get more Black Clover characters to justify releasing more of them. I also still like our hidden theory that the reason Jujutsu Kaisen is not in there is because the director is a big Black Clover fan and he's holding it back because he's he knows the series is too good. He's like, whatever, <laughs> Jujutsu Mid Clover, <laughs> Jujutsu, Jujutsu Mid Zen, Mid Zen. <laughs> That's like he just goes up to the goes up to the blackboard in there and he says plans for the future Jujutsu Mid said trash fifty yeah more everyone's like hey so when are we putting in Jujutsu Kaisen and he's like Jujutsu Midsen and he just walks out <laughs> he just walks out gives a deep breath <laughs> ah Jujutsu Midsen and he just walk, kind of walks on me because like I guess we're not it's another fucking month of not not putting in Jujutsu Kaisen. I like that idea of much more of him just going like, hmm, I don't know if we want to add mid to the game. I don't know. How, how do you think the, the stockholders will look like if I asked them real quick? <laughs> Would you guys like to add some mid to the game? <laughs> <laughs> now, let me talk about Peak. That's right. Black Clover. Everyone's favorite. Everyone's fourth favorite Shonen Jump Monk. Peak Clover. Exactly. Perfect. That's the only. I, that's the only thing. The only reason I think of it. I think it's way funnier that way and less anger inducing. Uh, but yeah, that's all for Jumpudi for now. We'll be back for, I guess, to talk about Black Clover. I don't know. <laughs> if we don't come back for Black Clover, no, it's because we don't want to talk about Black Clover. We both don't care about the series. There's no. Yeah, new it's just. It's you know it's bad when like at least with One Piece or something like like one of us can get something out of it. Yeah. Uh, I don't I give a shit about Black Clover. And I don't give a shit about making fun of Black Clover. I don't really did. I'm not too big into that. I'm big into the idea of making fun of someone who's too into Black Clover. That's I'm okay with making <laughs> fun of. Black Clover, I can't really actually speak to it because I haven't seen it and I don't really have an interest to see it, but I can't judge something I haven't seen. I can judge the behavior of the way certain people act, though. That I'll <laughs> gladly that I'll gladly make fun of. But in terms of the series itself, I have no real love loss or love hate for it, so there you go. That's it for everyone. Thank you very much for watching, especially if it's, a, it's it was a very cathartic episode i want to say this stuff has been holding deep into us we needed to get yeah, out eventually uh, jesus man fuck yeah. for god's sake <laughs> hopefully things will improve as time goes on as we march toward to the four five four point five anniversary so what do you think is going to be for the 4.5 zen uh what do i think is going to be in the 4.5 anniversary yeah uh luffy asta and tanjiro <laughs> Jujutsu Kaisen, I'm bringing it back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I believe uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a crossover, and it's gonna be Luffy and Tanjiro oh. is gonna be the crossover, and then uh, there's gonna be another crossover, and it's gonna be Asta and also Tanjiro again. And then also the Musa is of course gonna be Baby Inosuke, the one, <laughs> 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 the character that most represents the strong power structure within. <laughs> Demon Slayer, of course, the baby form of Inosuke. <laughs> I would summon on it. But anyway, thank you very much for joining us, everyone. We will be back to talk more whenever it happens. See you later. Say goodbye, Seth. Bye. Bye.